All right, guys. I posted up some video of this thing before. It's my buddy's 06, I think, F-150. Yep. And everyone was like, oh my god, I need more info on this thing. And I've been slacking balls, honestly, and haven't done it yet. But we'll uh, pop the hood. Now, this is actually a totally stock 06 F-150. There's nothing except for the... Is it down here? Yeah. Maybe I can get it holding the thing. I can. So, it's totally stock. Other than Ryan here water jetted this at work, drew up a design for a blower bracket, and then what is this guy? A V... V2? Yeah, S-Trim. V2 S-Trim. Uh, you know, I may not be right with all that, but... Nope, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's draining into the valve cover. He made his own bracket here, and it's actually running the stock mass air meter, but we enlarged the pipe to give it a little bit more... Actually, if you run this thing stock, it almost runs out of 5 volts on motor. So we were pretty scared. We weren't sure that this was even going to work. So, making the diameter of this tube larger and bolting in the stock meter, you're actually scaling it back a percentage, so... All of that's hooked up. Uh, what is this, like a 3-inch pulley here or something? Uh, 2.95. 2.95. It's like 12 pounds. 3 inches was wrong, guys. It's 2.95. <laughs> when it's running stock injectors and everything, and this is the first Ford we have ever tuned with HP tuners, because I own HP tuners, obviously. So we were like, fuck that, we'll do this ourselves, even no matter if we ruin our friendship trying. Uh, <laughs> and it has been difficult. It's intense. It's, yeah, it's been tense at times. Because there's really no good support. Uh, nobody will tell you shit. Everybody uses SCT. And then on top of that, uh, again, the people that tune this stuff, it's their livelihood. They don't share at all. The Chevy guys, at least, will hand shit out. They tune everything themselves. Ford guys are like, I call up, whatever, and they tune my truck. So... It's, it's tricky, but we've figured everything out almost completely on our own, basically, because no one would help us. And uh, we're getting there, and it runs about 12 pounds, but the car runs out of fuel, obviously, with like stock 20-some pound, 24s or 28s or whatever is in it. So it runs out of fuel fairly easily. The boost gauge goes up, you got 11s, the boost gauge goes up a little bit more, and the air fuel is like dives into the 13s, 14s pretty easily, but yeah, there's it's nothing... About 5 pounds. Yeah. Anything over five pounds, it starts to dump down to the 14 real quick. And then, uh, other than that, amazing part throttle power. These things are dogs. So, the, uh, most of it actually is what you hear is the electronic throttle sucks balls. Even though we can tune this thing, uh, the electronic throttle is still very finicky. Uh, you know, very disconnected feeling. And you hold it and it swings all over. So, it makes it a little bit more of a mess since they don't have all the data logging capability yet. So you can't see all the numbers and modify the numbers yet and fix them because it sees obviously more air, but the throttle percentage, you know, it's changing because of the air amount. So yeah, other than that, everything works off of the airflow over the throttle body calculation. Huh. And then uh, <laughs> got a boost gauge and air fuel in here. But other than that, what does this thing have? 76,000. Yeah. But he's been daily driving it with the blower on it. We're going to eventually put like 40 pounders in here and finally swing it out to redline but that's the gist of this thing I know everybody wanted to see this what is this four inch pipe yeah yeah it's stock is like three ish so this is four inch yeah I probably should have I get a little bit of uh, because of it being a little big with that mass airflow sensor it's a little uh, rocky yeah but a lot of that could just be because you can only log a certain amount of stuff. Yeah, hopefully they keep announcing Eric Brooks at HP Tuners keeps claiming close. that, yeah, they're close to releasing the scanner with full support, so. Yeah, I think once that, once that comes out, it'll be a lot different. Hopefully we make some dyno pulls with it then, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some good video of it. Oh, yeah, it isn't totally stock. It does have colder plugs in it. Yeah, there's zero, well, they call them zero plugs. I Ford Motorsport those. zero plugs or whatever. Yeah, so this thing was breaking up like a son of a bitch at like one pound of boost, so. Yeah, that's a guarantee you have to do that. You have to do the plugs of a boost in it, so. <laughs> yeah, but that's it. Let me know if you assholes have any more questions.